Welcome to Wednesday. Super quick one. I'm going to try and do this in one take. Pumps. So I have two, well, I don't know what you call them, pocket pumps, pack pumps, hand pumps, trail pumps. Two pumps here. Uh, one that I keep in my backpack and one smaller one that I keep in my waste pack. So this large Lizine pump, the Lizine uh, pressure drive is about nine inches long and uh, it will still fit in my trail pack, in my uh, waste pack. But the um, race rocket from Topeak is only seven inches and um, both of these retail at about 20, 21, 25 pounds. Um, I bought this in Go Outdoors last year and this I've had about three years and I think I bought it in Treads. There was a trend with pumps that the valve connected directly to here a while so you'd have to ram this on the end of the uh, the, the, the valve sticking out your inner tube um, but then what would happen was when you had to pull that off and it was nicely jammed on there you cut the back of your thumb open with a disc rotor or something so old school as I call it in in the handle of the Lazine one is the valve adapter and it has two ends on it for Presta and one for Schrader and the Presta end which has this little extra button which is a pressure relief valve um, and I think because this pump is supposedly able to deliver 120 psi so if you accidentally deliver 120 psi to your mountain bike tire you can release about a hundred of that psi with this little button obviously in order to pump your tire up you have to unscrew that end screw that end pump and screw that end screw that end and in the mean in the middle you then also have to screw this onto your valve on your bike and my recommendation is do that before you attach it to this because it's a heck of a lot easier where was i going with that yeah so unscrew pull out pop on screw screw pump 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 Psst, release pressure unscrew unscrew screw dust cap dust cap done I made that sound really complicated, but it is actually a little bit faffy. The uh, race rocket, the rocket race, I keep saying that the wrong way around, but I'm pretty sure it's the race rocket from Topeak. Slightly different. It still has a bendy valve. However, the bendy bit is actually attached, which is a little annoying because it means you have to connect it to your um, valve like this. And I'm sure you've done it. It's a pain in the backside doing that. Um, but uh, at least it means that you're not going to lose this and all you have to actually do is um, is pop the cap off and, and screw that about maybe about three or four turns to pull it out. Uh, what you've got on here is a valve that does both in one. So as you can see here, so when that's screwed in on here, that will work on a Schrader valve. Unplug it, unplug it, unscrew it even. And now it works for Presta and what that does, as you can clearly see is it just moves the little plunger that releases the air in the valve closer depending on the adapter you've got so there we go little less faffy and definitely a little smaller so where do we say we said this one is nine inches this one is seven inches uh, 102 grams I think 105 grams this is the medium size there are two different ones of these and this one's about 85 grams so absolutely perfect I love this pump really cool it also has at the other end a small valve cool removing tool which I've never used and to be honest looks really fussy but um, there we go anyway that's it that's all I wanted to do today was just show you these two pumps um, I think they're both really cool they're both definitely worth the money um, as you can see on this one, I've actually got some Gorilla Tape taped around the middle. It's always handy to carry a spare bit of tape on the bike for, for whatever reasons, whether it be uh, taping down a, a loose hose or taping some broken spokes together or something's quite handy. And I've got a bit of space. I should actually put some in the middle of this as well. So, yeah, all in all, really cool. Nice, small, nice, good, small, handy little pumps. And, um, yeah, great size. And talking of small, how small are Toblerone's getting? It's not going to last long at all. There. Yeah.